Hi you guys, so there's actually going to be a review today, and it's going to be a mass review, so if this is a little long, I apologize now. I don't know how long this is actually going to take, but I'm going to try to do it in one take without editing, so huzzah. Um, might have to do editing if I say something wrong, but anyways, um, so this is basically bands that have, or not bands, well, K-pop groups that have come out recently, or have come up with songs recently, and basically have been active recently, and uh, my review of them, I'm saying recently, because originally this was supposed to be only people released in 2012 so far, like newbie groups and new albums and stuff like that, so like Shiny, Big Bang, as well as like BAP and um, Newest, but uh, <laughs> I realized when I was doing this that I had no girl groups, so uh, we're going to be talking back to October 2011, because that way I can talk about two girl groups and I can talk about two uh, male groups as well. So there's going to be a very male-heavy session here, you guys. Um, but So this is my review of different groups that have come out recently, who to look out for, what I think. So if you're thinking about getting into a group or if you're thinking about songs that you want to listen to, this is a good way to kind of get familiar with these groups if you're like, who are these people? So anyways, uh, we're just going to start from the beginning. I'll start with a girl group that a lot of people probably know, uh, a Girls' Generation, also known as SNSD, and they're called like Shoujo something in Japan. I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, but anyways, uh, SNSD, or Girls' Generation, has recently made their American debut, English debut, really. Uh, they've been on, like, late-night programs in America. They did something on the late-night show with one of them. I don't remember, but their guest was uh, Regis Philman, and he was, like, creepily staring at the girls as they were dancing. It was really freaking creepy to watch. But anyways, so they've released a song called The Boys. It's very dancey. It's like, I don't know. And the music video is gorgeous. I quite like the song. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's basically like, the whole song is about like going to a club and like being the one that everybody's looking at. Because you're so sexy. All eyes on me, boys. Basically, that's the entire song. And, I don't know, I think I just like Girls' Generation when they're cuter, but I do like this like sassy thing that they have going on. They also, uh, if you like something like this song, if you have listened to the boys and you like it, I recommend Run Devil Run, which is another sassy song by them, which I quite like that song. It's about a guy who's like, got like names in his, um, cell phone and they like look like boys' names, but if you like add like a letter or something, they're all girls' names. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, it's really kind of funny. I, I like the song and it's like getting, it's not getting revenge, but it's a cute song. Not cute. Um, if you are not interested in the boys or anything, if you like cutie, I don't say cutie, but like cuter stuff. They have a song called G, which is by far the most addictive song you will ever listen to ever. Uh, yeah, I like the Korean version more than the Japanese version. If you run into the Japanese versions, I don't like them as much. Just a heads up, you guys. Um, but yes, so definitely listen to uh, G, and then they have like Hoot, they have Genie, they have O, which is a little bit more electrony. Uh, Electroni, Electrona E. Anyways, uh, so yes, that's SNSD. I'm trying to make these guys quick, but they are a good group. They're very talented, all of them. I'm a personal fan of Sunny. She is my bias. <laughs> um, but yes, um, another girl group that I'll talk about, and then I'll be done with girl groups for like the rest of this, you guys. I'm sorry. But Tiara, I'm not usually a Tiara fan. Um, they have some songs I kind of like, but you know, yeah. Um, but they released a song recently called Cry Cry and Lovey Dovey, which if you put them together, they're like this movie sequence. And the movie's really cool, actually. I think Korean... Like, I don't know what's with Korea, but they like put more money into their music videos than their actual movies. And the cinematography's great. The plot line's a little shaky at times, but it's basically like this girl who's like with a bounty hunter, I guess. And then like the bounty kill like the bounty hunter killed her dad, and then she like was raised by the bounty hunter. And uh, yeah, um, it's it's a it's very confusing, <laughs> um, but it's a really good song for what it is. I mean, you end up just watching the movie and not really listening to the song. Like, the song kind of plays in the background, basically. It's just, I don't know. It's a good song, though, and it's really pretty to watch if, you, if you're in for good acting. And it's one of those things, like, you don't need subtitles to know what's going on. It helps, but you don't really need them. So that's good for anybody that likes that. But Tiara is um, fairly talented. Um, I feel like, oh, um, the Micho song, right? Drive Me Crazy? I think that's the actual title. Uh, Bo Peep? Is that by them? I probably should have Googled these. This is all kind of like on a whim, you guys. I'm sorry if I messed up who says what. I'm pretty sure Bo Peep was by them, which is like the Bo Peep, 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 That song. <laughs> That'll get in your head, too. But the Meat Show one, um, Drive Me Crazy. That one's a pretty good song. I'm pretty sure those are Tiara. That sounds Tiara-y in my head. 
Uh, as you can tell, I don't really listen to a lot of TR. Uh, um, so then we will go into the rest of 2010, and then I'll be done with 2010, you guys. Or not 2010, 11, 11, 11, 11. 2011, then we'll be done with 2011, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, so one group I want to talk about is AAA. Um, AAA is how it's spelled. Um, I don't know about this group. They sang a song... Uh, crazy? I want to say it's called Crazy. It's another Micho song. You will, if you get into K-pop, you will learn Saranghae and Micho very, very fast. Very, very fast. Micho means to drive someone crazy. So Nega Micho is like, you drive me crazy. Or me being driven crazy by you. Or I drive you crazy? I forgot what that actually means. Nega, Niga, Dudu. I forgot all the different things. Ga is like wa in Japanese, you guys. Anyways, I'll just skip talking about that for too much. I've only listened to one of their songs, and I don't know. It's addictive. Like, the first time you listen to it, I hated it the first time I listened to it. It was really boring. But one of them was very pretty, so I kept watching it. <laughs> and they're boys. Um, the rest of these will be guys, so, so to be clear. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't like the song at first. And then I got into the song for about a week, and then I stopped caring. I don't know. They're very... I don't know. The one thing I like about the group, though, is that they're all older, so I don't have to feel like a pet bear so that's nice. <laughs> I, I Low-end entertainment. Thank you for that one, low-end. But yeah, um, uh, do-do-do-do-do. And then the other group I want to talk about is My Name. They have a song called Message, which, of course, the Korean word for message is messagey, which is adorable. And I don't know about that song. Like, at first I hated it. I think, like, the first 30 times I listened to it, I hated it. But I have a friend that has it as part of her ringtone, like, when she gets a text message. And so, or no, she, it was for a while. It might be her ringtone now, too. I forgot exactly what it is. But anyways, uh, so I had to listen to it a lot. And there's one part, like, the first time I watched it, I really, 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 really liked the beginning. Like, that whole rap section and, like, the not really rap dance section where they're like, la, 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 that part. Like, that's really addictive. And I like that one of them can actually dance. It's just kind of like, we're pretty boys and we can dance with our hands and punch in the air like a girl group, which is basically there to look sexy unless you're to anyone. I have issues with some of the dances in a lot of groups. And they're like, yeah, he's a mean dancer, but he can't really dance, but he can look pretty and dance at the same time. But anyway, this guy can, like, do backflips and stuff, so huzzah. <laughs> I like it when dancers can actually dance. Um, but anyways, so, uh, but, I don't know, I really like that part. And then the chorus seemed really random. I hated the chorus with the rest of the song. The chorus by itself was in a different song. I would probably like it a lot more, but... I don't know, like, that whole, like, like, it starts off with, like, this, like, rappy, like, very hip-hoppy song, and then it gets into, like, bubbly boy band at the chorus. I hated it. But then all of a sudden I had the urge to listen to, like, the da-da-da-da-da-da, that part. I don't actually know what they're saying. It's just, I know most of it's la, but, yeah, I had the sun urge to listen to that, and now all of a sudden I like the song. It took me about five months to like the song, so... Maybe it's just, it's time has come, I don't know, but yeah, so, I don't know, it, it's an interesting song, you should, I would recommend giving it a listening to, Message by My Name, so yeah, um, and then we're done with 2011, yay, let's concentrate on 2012, because so many good things have happened in 2012, I don't know what smacked the world in the face, but also in 2012, everybody's like, hey, we're gonna have good songs this year, and I was like, score! So, you know, it's like the end of March, and everything I've heard so far has been genius. I'm not even joking, you guys. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm not going to talk about, like, CN Blue and those guys. I think CN Blue released something recently. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of them, so I haven't been listening to them. These are people I've listened to, so this is just a broad thing. I'm trying to keep this short because we're already almost at ten minutes, and I'm only four people in. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, oh, God, when I get to Shiny, this is going to take a while in Big Bang. Um... Do, 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 do. So let's start 2011. Uh, 12, um, I'll just talk about the ones I don't like the most first. Newest? I'm not a big Newest fan. I'm liking one of its members. I'm a big fan of Flower Boys, and one of them looks like CL's twin. <laughs> well, CL from 2NE1. Or tw I say 2NE1, but it's 21. I know this, but I'll still call it 2NE1. <sighs> Double meanings. Anyways, um, so... I'm a 21, but he looks like CL's twin brother. I'm not even joking. They were separated at birth. It's kind of scary. Uh, I forgot what his name is, though. But, oh, Rin. Rin? Rin sounds right. Rin? Rin? Something like that. But, um... 
So, yeah, Newest has a song called Face that was out, and one of my friends said it was about bullying, and so I'm like, oh, that's good, especially, like, like I was bullied when I was a kid, so I was like, maybe this song will speak to me, and that, and I know South Korea has huge bullying issues, like, it's crazy scary, the bullying that happens over there. Like, I probably would have just murdered somebody. Like, I'm surprised more school shootings don't happen in South Korea. I know guns aren't, like, openly available, but, yeah. <laughs> But, like, the song was really confusing because it's, like, a kid getting bullied and then he bullies people back. I'm not entirely sure what happens in that music video, but it's really kind of confusing. And, yeah. So, I don't know. And the song in general, I just didn't like it that much. The dancing wasn't that great and the singing wasn't that great. And, I don't know. The whole... I didn't like it that much. I have friends that love it, though. So, um, what else do I want to talk about? Okay, so then I'll just go into Block B. Uh, <laughs> I'm not usually a Block B fan. I actually kind of hate them with a passion. The first time I listened to them was about a year ago, and somebody told me about them. They're like, oh my god, if you love Shiny, you'll love these guys. And I hated them. I hated them so much, I didn't know why they ever debuted. They had not been trained enough. They just were horrible. I hated it. It looked so forced. Like, none of them looked like they wanted to be there. It was horrible. And then somebody told me that they uh, released a song called Nalina, and I was like, okay, why do I care? I don't like Block B. And they're like, no, you should listen to this. If you hate Block B, you should listen to this song by them. And I'm like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would I listen to a song by a group I don't like if I don't like them? And then I realized why. They changed their sound. Nalina is like... One of the best songs I've heard in a long time. It's very addictive, and it's very addictive. It's an amazing song. Definitely recommend it. Black Bees, Nalina, uh, N-A-N-L-I-N, and then there's like a capital A. They do this gorilla dance in it that bothers me to no end, but I like how everybody looks like they're actually having a good time in the music video, which is a new concept to me when watching Black B videos, because usually they're like, look how happy we are. It kind of looks like me when I smile for pictures, and I'm like, yeah, take the picture, you guys. Yeah, I, I want to be here so bad. Please go away. But, um, so everybody actually looks like they're having fun in the music video, which is awesome. And they have really good rappers, so... And, you know, it's a weird song because it is very cocky. Like, the whole song is basically like, I'll drive you crazy, and like, I'm perfect, and it's very cocky. And I don't know why. I usually hate, hate, hate very uncreative lines that sound like bad pickup lines, but they have one part when they say it in English. The English is decent in this, you guys. Like, I don't think there's any awkward English that I know of. Maybe there is. Oh, there is. One of them says, I'm, sp I'm special or something, and I think he meant, like, I'm special, like, I'm a... I'm special, like, beyond normal, instead of, like, special, like, special ed. Um, so that was kind of awkward. But there's one part when they say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm hot. And then I was like, okay, so he's hot. Like, he's saying he's sexy, because this whole thing is about him being great. And then he says, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know uh, what I mean. I almost said it again. But basically, I'm hot, you know what I mean. And then I was like, oh, wait, does he mean sexually? <laughs> So I'm not sure if that was awkward English or just very, very sly placement of words, smart people. But, um, who knows? <laughs> but I do like this song, and I definitely recommend giving it a listen to. It's very rappy, um, very hip-hoppy, so I like it. Um, and then... I will just talk about Xinhua. Xin, uh, Xinhua, if you guys don't know what those guys are, like if you just haven't cared about K-pop's past, they are like the longest living band group, like, boy band group ever, I think. Like, they never broke up, they never had a change of people, nothing. It's the same guys that have been there the whole time. I think there's six of them, and they just made a comeback. And if you guys are wondering how long the longest band, like, boy band group is, um, they've been around since 1998. So basically, they were around when NSYNC was around. But you can tell, too, they sound a lot like NSYNC, and it kind of bothers me at times, because it's almost like... Meh. And I've listened to Shinwa's stuff before, and I don't usually like it. And even this album a lot around, I don't really like it that much. But they have a song called Venus, I believe is the actual title. I didn't write it down. But Venus is a good song. I think it's what it is. But it's catchy. I don't know. 
I don't usually like songs like that. I think I just have a level of respect for them because they're all in their 30s now, and they've been along around for a while. So yeah, police have to respect them. And yeah, I don't expect them to like be running around and dancing like 19-year-old boys. And I don't expect them to have like a crazy electronic sound because I think that almost seemed like really forced. But yeah, they're doing their own thing still, which is cool. So you know, 14 years in, congrats, you guys. So uh, Venus Shinhua, definitely recommend if you are in to NSYNC. <laughs> um, while I'm talking about comebacks, I'll talk about Big Bang. Oh my god, you guys, Big Bang. I love Big Bang. I love Big Bang. I love Big Bang. I used to like them generally, not a whole bunch. Like, I love G-Dragon. I love Taehyung. And Top makes me smile sometimes. I was never really a big Top fan until, like, I saw interviews. Then I became a Top fan. Sungri kind of scares me at times. This song is awesome, period. Um... But so, the Alive CD just came out, and the first song I got to hear was Blue, like most people, because it's a music video, but Blue is an amazing, I don't usually like, like, very airy, breathy ballads, it's got, like, this, like, little electrona beat that goes through it, and I love it, and it's just this gorgeous song, and then they have another song called Bad Boy, which is awesome, and then they have another song that has a music video called Fantastic Baby, which is, like, the dance anthem of the year, not even joking, you guys, it's so freaking addictive, like, every time I walk past somebody, and somebody goes, wow, I'm in my head going, fantastic, baby. Like, ah. <laughs> I love that song so much. It's, oh my god. And everybody in that song is phenomenal. It's so addictive. But whoever did G Dragon's hair needs to be shot. Yep. But Top pulls off baby blue hair very nicely. I give him mass props, you guys. Um,. But then, I have to say, I've uh, listened to all the songs from their CD via YouTube. My favorite is Wings, which is a solo that Daesung does. And it's this gorgeous, inspirational song, and it's just powerful. So if you guys are just watching the music videos of Big Bang, I mean, go listen to Fantastic Baby, go listen to Tonight, which is an older song, go listen to Taeyang's, um, Taeyang, I keep saying Taeyang, Taeyang's Wedding Dress, because it's, oh my god, eye-pouring tear goodness, and then Heartbreaker by G-Dragon. I don't like any GD Top songs, really, ever. Um, Daesung's Wings, I said, I mean, just, just, just everything I have said, just go watch it. Pause this video and just go watch them and love them. I love Big Bang so much, so very much. Um, they've won awards in America, just so you guys know. Uh, an award, an award. And they're nominated for something in Italy, like Best Fan or something. Um, anyways, so I talked about them. I will go into EXO a little bit. Yeah, I'll go into EXO. Um, EXO is a group that has had teasers come out. There's like a bajillion of them, and so like all of us have kind of known about this group for a while, and we're like super amped for it, and this guy Kai has been in like half the teasers, and there's a lot of Kai haters now, which means a lot more people like the Chinese version more than the Korean version, purely because they hate Kai. I like both. Um, Tao is one of the members in the Chinese version. He's a ninja. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Go find the third teaser from EXO, which is the Tao teaser. He is a ninja. Um, Makai dances phenomenally. End of story. And he's like a friend of Taemin, which you can tell because they share very similar dance moves. So you know that they probably dance together a lot. Um, and like they have a song that's coming, like I don't say it's coming out, but I like the teasers because it tells you like how, what kind of songs they'll have and it gives you like a taste of them. And I've loved all of these songs that they've been throwing at us. And they have released two songs already. One is History, which has the most awkward dance moves ever, but it's a good song. And one is What is Love, which is like this R&B ballad. And it kind of sounds like, I don't know, but it's really cool. And I love it. And oh my god, I love it. So I'm very amped about EXO. And uh, there's six members in each subsection and there's 12 members all together because there's a Korean one and there's a um, a Mandarin one, and so yeah, so there's XOK and XOM, get it? Uh, but yes, go listen to What Is Love, and just go watch all the teasers, they're not that long. My personal favorite is the one when Kai is dancing by himself. It's the forever alone dance. <laughs> he pretends he has a friend on his arm that's a hat in his shirt, and then he does dance moves with that. But anyways, um, so I'll, I'll just keep XO short, just go watch them. Um, and then I guess I'll talk about um, Shiny. They just made a comeback uh, with Sherlock, which I hated Sherlock the first time I heard it. I'll be honest. I'm a Shaul to the core. I love Shiny. I love Shiny. Um, 
But uh, I didn't like Sherlock the first time I listened to it, which I think was more because I hated Taman's hair during the dance section. Like, I like Taman with his long hair, but God, whoever put those extensions in should be shot in the face. It is the most fake-looking extension job ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, McEver, ever. It is horrible. Like, in Lucifer, when he has hair extensions, they're, like, back here, and they melted into his hair, which is long, but, you know, in... In Sherlock, his hair is like here, and then this hair extensions just kind of fall down here, and they're like weird and strangly. And, oh, I hate it. Who did his hair? But um, I like him in a top hat, though. Yay for Taman in top hats. Um, but the, yeah, the music video is a little weird. <laughs> but it's like them solving a mystery, which a four year old could have solved in about four seconds because there's a ghost, aka Jessica from SNSD, which is a girl's generation, which we've talked about. Um, but yeah, she's like rocking around giving them clues, and they're just like, I don't understand this clue, which is like the stupidest thing ever. But, anyways, um, so Shiny, really Sherlock, I said that, and I don't know. Like the second time I listened to it, though, the first time again, I said, I hated it, I hated it, I hated it, I hated it. And the second time I listened to it, I loved it. And then I've listened to it like 60,000 times since then. I love that song now. It's so weird. I don't know how Shiny does that to me. Like, it's just like, oh, it's Shiny. Switch. And it's like, yes, I automatically love it. But it's not true. There's a lot of songs by Shiny I don't love. Like, JoJo. Hate JoJo. But if you um, like Sherlock, they have a song called Juliet, which has much of the same feel to it. If you like more electrona danciness, there's Lucifer, which is the first K-pop song I ever fell head like, heads over heel in love with. Yes, I keep doing this with my bracelet, you guys. But I, like, fell in love with Lucifer. I know the dance for it because I felt like learning it. Um, and there's also Replay, which I like the Japanese and Korean version. I think I like the Japanese version actually a little bit more than the Korean version, which is weird because it doesn't usually happen with me outside of DBSK's uh, Love and Ice, Hearts and Ice, something like that. But anyways, um... Yeah, it was. Which I think it's just because of experience. Because when re uh, Replay was released in Japanese, they were much older, and so they had like experience in singing. And Taemin didn't sound like a squeaky girl. But yeah, so I, I mean, I love them both. And then. Um I mean, Ring Ding Dong is another dancey one, if you like dance. Uh, yeah, just just be happy. And of course, Shiny World, which is where the word Shawul comes from. But that's an older song, uh, like Replay in Korean. Um, but yes, Shiny, yay, I love Shiny. And then, I think the only thing I have left to talk about is BAP. Which, why did I say BAP for the end? Well, because I want to talk about the most, because I'm in love with BAP. Um, yeah, so they released, okay. Okay, here's the deal. I was told about BAP, and I didn't really care about BAP, because I don't usually like rookie groups. Like, 80% of the rookie groups I listen to, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. SM is the only one that I think I've ever heard a rookie group from, like, right away and fell in love with them. But, and I mean EXO, but I fall in love with them right away. But usually, like, the other ones, because YG and SM are kind of the big ones, there's also Loent, and there's, like, TS. And TS is the one that was releasing BAP, and I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> And then my friend Hillary was talking about them a little bit. I didn't really care. And I had another friend that I got into K-pop who would listen to them. And I was like, I don't care. And so, I mean, she likes 4-Minute and I hate 4-Minute. And then Hillary likes a lot of the Big Bang songs I don't like. And so, I don't know, two very different tastes in music were telling me to listen to this group. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not sure if Hillary made me listen to it or if Crystal did. I'm not entirely sure on the details. But somebody made me listen to... Um, Oh, no, no, no. I listened to I Remember on my own, and I kind of liked it because it's one of the members, or two. Two of the members. Uh, the rapper, the two older members, I think? No? Day? Yeah. No, yeah, no. No, no, no. Well, whatever. There's a rapper and a singer. <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, I Remember was a good song. And then somebody told me to watch the one with Zello and um, Yoguk. And I liked that song, which is like this, like really kind of like high school anthem. Like we'll get to do this together and make memories or something. I don't know. It was really like high school musically. I didn't quite like it that much. I mean, if I was 14, I probably like it a lot more. But as somebody that's almost 21, not really. And then there was another song, which I can't remember what it's actually called. But there's part of it when Him Chan. I found out Him Chan was the guy in the trunk. But uh, Yoguk, I think, raps in it. Does he? I don't know. Maybe he's just the guy in the trunk. Maybe just the girls singing it. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, Tim Chan's in it, and he gets burned at the end, which is kind of awesome. And by burned, I mean set on fire while he's locked inside of the trunk of a car. But anyways, um, so I kind of like knew who these guys were, but I only really knew who three of them were. And so, uh, yeah, I wasn't too amped about it, and I was really reluctant to actually listen to them. And then I think I was with Hillary when she made me listen to Warrior. I'm not 100% sure... 
because it's kind of blurry, because I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings. I was being entranced and hypnotized and, and happyified by, by the AP's warrior. Like, oh my god, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I am such a baby now. Like, oh my god, I love it. Like, the cinematography is great, and the choreography is great, and, like, they make their own choreography, and Yogook know, writes his own rap part, and the rap is amazing, and the singing parts are awesome, and the wardrobe is awesome, and there's an actual message to the song, and the message in the song comes out in the dance, not just random dance moves, like, look at me, I'm cute, or, hey, I'm so sexy, like, even the cute guy, which is the 15-year-old that raps, is kind of, like, got this, like, I'm a badass thing about him, like, he looks cute and adorable, but he's still kind of, like, a guy like he's not like I don't want to diss Shiny because I love them all but Taemin debuted when he was 14 and he's very much like look how cute I am and even now he's like he kind of looks like a girl compared to the rest of the group and he's still like look at me I'm the Makne and so when I heard that Makne was like 15 I'm like oh god it's gonna be another Taemin but like but he raps and I'm like so it's gonna be like mer like I didn't know what to do there but oh my god he's like still a badass even though he's like a scrawny short adorable little 15 year old so oh my god and I love the beat of this I like the dance I love everything and and oh my god it's just a little bit weird though because they have a, like a gag that's going on when there five of them are aliens and then Zello the youngest is a robot that Yogook made um yeah uh, I'm not too sure about that but it's funny and they do a lot of jokes because I ended up watching Tadad's uh, BAP all ten episodes and Yogook is by far my favorite human being ever he makes me laugh <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, but yeah, so definitely go listen to Warrior, like, right now, and just be as happy as I am, and then when you're done with Warrior, go listen to Fantastic Baby by Big Bang, and when you're done with that, go listen to Nalina by B-Block, because that's what I've been doing for the past three weeks. Uh, but yeah, that's my K-pop review for now, it goes back to October 2011, it's done, yeah, you guys can stop talking about it. I might actually start doing groups individually so that way I can talk more about the groups and more about like them in general. I try to go into like people's past a little bit here but didn't do that great of a job. I kept it under 30 minutes. Huzzah! I thought this was going to be a lot longer because I was talking about a lot of groups. Um, I'll probably actually have a thing in the beginning when I have like all the different yeah anchors or something to jump to things. I might like mm, maybe I won't. Oh, okay. Well I guess it's too late to do that. Um... I guess I can just do it. I'll think about it. But yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. I hope this helps. Um, if you can get interested in music, you can. Even if you uh, don't, like, if this was kind of like a way for you to be like, I don't wonder if I should even bother listening to these guys. Don't take it that way, because you should bother listening to all of them. You should actually, like, just go out and listen to all of them and decide for yourself. I have a weird taste in music, so it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> I like rock and, I don't know, I'm more of a lyric freak than anything which is why Nalina's amazingness kind of baffles me. And even Fantastic Baby. The lyrics aren't that in-depth. It's just a dance song. It's like, let's all dance together. And, you know, tonight we're going to go from 1 to 10. It's not that in-depth, but I love the song. But, yeah, so, um, yeah, I hope this helps. I hope this is informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, yay! I'll see you guys later. Bye!